Welcome back. This is our second poetry episode in which I'll be sharing a short poem and encourage you to write your own. Lately, our family has been trying to get outside as much as possible. Here in St. Albert, Canada, we have had a very late spring. The snow is finally melting and the temperature is just above zero degrees Celsius. I think the animals are having a hard time of it. The other day we saw a coyote right in the city, not more than 500 meters from our house. As it was probably hungry and looking for food, we thought it best to keep our distance. But one of the most joyful things to listen to are the chickadees. We have plenty of black-capped chickadees around. They are amazing little birds. For one thing, they stick around throughout the year. In fact, I learned that the brains of chickadees grow and expand in late summer and fall, when they hide all their seeds and food in the hollows and knots of trees. As they have to remember where they hid everything, their hippocampus, a part of the brain, gets bigger. So to celebrate this wonderful bird, here is a little poem. The Chickadee Hi, little chickadee, busy and bright. You flit and you fly from morning till night. Chickadee, chickadee, fluffy and small. I see you, chickadee, black cap and all. And that's it. You see, you don't have to write a long poem, especially for such a small bird. I'll end by encouraging you to write a poem about God's creation yourself. Pick a bird, an animal, even an insect. Try to learn something new about it and write a short poem. And if you want to share it, then email us. Talk to you next time.